when we think about um, other possible treatment strategies, sometimes people will talk about hormone therapy or endocrine therapy. How is this used to help treat ovarian cancer? This is a good question because we don't often hear a lot about that for ovarian cancer. Um, harking back, obviously the ovaries are originally sort of the reproductive organs. And so ovarian cancer can sometimes have um, sort of proteins that are on the outside of cells that actually may respond to certain hormones. The two hormones that we often look at these receptors or proteins on the outside are estrogen and progesterone, which are normal actually um, female hormones that, that the ovaries would produce um, before menopause. These protein receptors, we can kind of take advantage of those, just kind of you were talking about these pathways, we can take advantage of that and try to see if we were to use an anti-estrogen therapy or something that helped target the progesterone receptor. Sometimes that can actually be a treatment that's offered to, for example, low-grade ovarian cancers or certain types of ovarian stromal tumors. Sometimes your doctor will have to do a test on your pathology uh, from your biopsy or from your surgery to get those answers about which, you know, as you mentioned, which pathways are, are turned on or off for the targeted therapy or for the hormones and specifically to see if your cancer cells have any of those estrogen or progesterone receptors, in which case a hormone therapy may be helpful. Hormones are also somewhat helpful because they're milder on your body. They don't have the same side effects as chemotherapy because they're not chemotherapy. And so these are very well tolerated. And so this may be a really important tool, especially for somebody perhaps who may be having trouble with chemotherapy or has been on chemotherapy for a long time.